First, everyone always wants to know where this is, but we're not. Our last name is Borgs. But uh, where it came from was there was a German immigrant that came, obviously from Germany, and opened a bakery here. His name was Gunther Schmidt. And the original one was downtown, about 5th North and 2nd West. That's why a lot of people think we're the downtown bakery, because we were there for a long time. But he had the bakery, he just did a few German items. And uh, that opened in 1954. And uh, so he, he kind of kept going at it and got a little tired, a little old, decided to retire. Because bakery life is a hard life. Uh, sure. Long, hard, late hours, long, early hours. So uh, he ended up doing it, so he was just open Friday and Saturday, and that was it for four hours. So his, uh, his clientele was really small, not many people. And my dad, Steve Ford, he, uh, his grandpa was a baker, my great-grandpa at Warsaw's, and uh, my dad worked with him all the time in the baker business, from Dutch bakers and German bakers. And my dad always wanted to be a, a business owner, and he lived downtown and saw this bakery. It was just sitting there, empty, closed for a couple weeks, and he thought, you know, I can, I can do something there. So he, he approached Schmidt, we called him Schmidt, he passed away about seven years ago, but we uh, called Schmidt and he, he bought it from him, and uh, for, in between, the, he, he ended up closing for a year, so my dad bought it, and it's even close a year between ownership, and my dad bought it in 1976, so it's been a long time that he's been the owner, and from there, he took it from a, a small German bakery into a big, the big you see now, and it, to show how small it was, it's him and my mom, for the employees, um, my dad would come in and bake all night long. He didn't have enough money to have anything to slice bread, so he'd have to take all the products to other bakeries and uh, prepare everything and then bring it back. And him and my mom over the counters. Uh, like he, now we have big trucks that come and bring us in all of our ingredients, our flour, our eggs, our yeast, whatever it may be. He was too little, so he had to just go shopping at Smith's and buy it and bring it in. And, um, he couldn't afford to change the name. He didn't have enough money to find the business to change the name. So we did it was Schmidt's Pastry Shop, is what it was. And it was just a lot of chocolate candies and stuff like that. And then once he finally started making money and could do something with the business, he had enough name recognition that he could change it. So he just made the building look like a cottage and 